60,000 residents, that's how many people in Southern Nevada were without power last night after storms rolled through the area. Thanks for joining us everyone, I'm Gerard Romalo. The latest numbers show roughly 8,000 customers still in the dark at this hour. Today, Clark County officials opening shelters for those who need a place to stay. This is Gabby Hart joins us live at one of those shelters tonight. And Gabby, are people taking advantage of this service? Uh, well, Gerard, no power means no air conditioning. And on days like today, when the temperature is soaring well over 100 degrees, people need a place to come and keep cool. That is exactly why shelters like this one are open. And we have seen a couple of people uh, trickling in here to take advantage of this uh, after so many power outages seen throughout our valley. Thousands of residents lost power after high winds and thunderstorms uh, swept through the area. We received reports of scaffoldings flying from parking structures and onto cars, awnings flying off of homes homes and of course downed trees and power lines. As a result, Clark County has opened four shelters for those who still don't have power. Uh, they say pets are welcome at all of these shelters. They're even providing transportation for those who need it. And we talked to Envy Energy. They say it could be at least two days before some of these residents have their power restored. Because of the widespread damage, our customers are going to see an extended outage of 24, 48 hours from right now. It is fairly widespread. Uh, you know, the, the incidents that we had, the similar storms that hit on July 9th and July 21st, uh, you know, they kind of hit all in one area and actually restoration was a little bit quicker than what we're experiencing today. Yeah, now there, uh, there are four shelters in place for people without power. Walnut Community Center as well as Winchester Community Center are open until 8 p.m. And Pearson Community Center, where I'm at right now, and the Cambridge Recreation Center will be open 24 hours. Now you can head over to our website at news3lv.com for a full list of these shelters and addresses. For now, I'm reporting live. Gabby Hart, News 3. Gerard? All right, good to see that service available for those who need it. Gabby, thanks for the update.